DPW vehicle purchases. This is a unassigned fund balance uh, dipping into to acquire one dump, one ton dump truck. So it's a plow and wing, of course. What would a dump truck be without a wing and plow? Huh? One ton? Just a one ton? Yeah. Just one one ton dump truck yeah. with plow and wing. It's a Chinese dump truck. <laughs> and two three quarter ton trucks with plows and two sidewalk maintenance vehicles. <sighs> Mr. Moore. Excluding what we just talked about with the fire department, because the strong need of those firemen having two sets of uniforms to protect their lives, I think we would have been sinful not to do that. However, <clears throat> I would like to get in a more clear definition, because when I was a taxpayer, and still am, but I was a voter not on the board, Whenever I saw fiscal impact, no finance, and I almost voted for everything I saw. Now that I understand the process a little bit better, I think it should have a better explanation. I don't like no tax in, in part because the seven million, I think it's approximately seven million dollars, which is in the uh, that uh, unassigned fund balance. Unassigned right. fund balance. Thank you, sir. If it got depleted. Well, number one, all the money in there is all taxpayer money when the, the, the people use the excess that wasn't, which is a good idea. They got up to the point. But it, it's not no tax. We've already paid taxes. So it's not that. However, if something tragic happened, like the, a, a wall with the floods down the beach and we needed to spend $6 million, we would deplete this one almost immediately. I'm making this up as a pretend example, by the way. Then in order to get that back to $7 million over the next whatever, we have, we'll be replenishing that money with taxpayers' money again. Mm. So it does have a tax impact. I think that should be somehow or other how this really works needs to be explained so the taxpayers, when they vote, totally understand the process. That it was your money that's in here, and when it goes down, we're going to use taxes to replenish it. So I, it almost sounds like you get free money when you're not getting free things. But this implies that to me. So I think we should do something to change the wording to make it more descriptive of what it really is. David. Period. We cannot change the wording on any one article. The budget <coughs> does not have the, all, the only authority we have, authority-wise, is to recommend and not recommend. Now, we can give communication that we like to see this one article change, like moving the question mark on the other one article, yeah. for example. Can we we can make that? recommendations for that's that. What I'm, that's what I'm advocating. With regarding to the uh, fiscal impact note, that uh, is a, uh, a policy of the Board of Selectmen in terms of how you calculate fiscal impact. Okay? And when they calculate fiscal impact, the way they use their formula, and it comes down to zero, the phrase becomes no tax impact. That's the selectman's policy, has been for years. Okay. I understand basically you're objecting to that policy. That policy should be tweaked so that the it doesn't say no tax impact, perhaps it should say no future tax impact. Physical impact. But there was a historical tax impact or something like that. Maybe that's what you're suggesting. I don't know. Correct. But the bottom line is it is a policy decision under the purview of the Board of Selectmen. And uh, I welcome you to advocate, if you so choose, to the Board of Selectmen to change that policy. I have talked to a few ex-selectmen, mm -hmm. and, and a number of them basically all said it needs to have clarification because it is confusing and we're not expressing everything. And I brought this question up to other people who serve the office. Right. So you know, And all I'm looking for is clarity so the average, again, Taxpayers, even if we just talk about it now and it ends up being people are watching it, maybe that might help. But I, I agree with you, David, that the statement no tax impact is deceptive to the casual voter. There are a lot of casual voters. Right. Could it be improved? I think it probably could be if, if they worked it. The Board of Selectmen should be encouraged to rework it. I think that's probably a good thing. Can Always a good thing to look, take a fresh look had policies that were enacted long ago to get them more modernized, if you will. 
So, uh, but the bottom line is, I don't think that's going to happen between now and uh, the public hearing. It's just not going to happen as a practical matter. But we could put it in motion or talk to people that next year it might be clarified. That's a potential. Well, we've we done that. Done this year, we'll give, can give it a shot maybe we've, for next year. We've just done that, and you'll have further opportunity to talk about it as well. Good. Okay. Thank Anything you, else on this Warren article? <laughs> Great. Oh, actually, I did want to say one Regina. thing. Just in case it, I don't care if we watch the Board of Selectmen meeting, but we had Chris Jacobs in, and he did explain how much has gone on an annual basis. On annual basis toward maintenance for the existing vehicles right. that we do have, which is, I believe it was hundreds of thousands of dollars. He stated, I don't remember offhand if you add them all together. So, as though it's not as dire need as the sec the uh, turnout gear for the fire department, we do need to realize that if Public Works does not have the equipment that they need, this town will not be able to operate mm -hmm. for an hour. So, I hope to see that this Warren article gets passed and. I understand what you're saying, and I do explain that when people ask me, oh, well, this says no, it didn't. And I say, well, the money's already there. So ideally, it would say no new tax impact. I guess you could even make a simple adjustment like that. But yeah, there is a tax impact, but it's money that the town it's has. Yeah. It's a surplus of the town. You don't call it surplus anymore, but that's really what it is. It's a surplus. It's the money that hasn't been used. That's where the money's coming from. And, and everything is funded by the taxpayer. Right. And so if the money was used, we have to report. So are you done, Regent? Yes, I'm done. Thank okay. you. Thank I you. would point out that, you know, the use of the word surplus has been objected to by one particular Board of Selectmen member who has ceased violently objecting to it recently. I don't object to its use, and I think I would actually generally encourage you because the average person understands that term. Right. They do not understand how to sign bond balance. All right. exactly. Some of us do actually drill down on the stuff, but like you pointed out, Dave, unless you, you know, get drilled down in the deep grass of the stuff, you're just going to, what the hell is that? It's free money, so let's <laughs> yeah, do it, you know, kind of thing. But it's not. It's surplus uh, from a variety of different sources that have been accumulated in this one fund that presently is called the unassigned fund balance, but also gets changed and renamed to undesignated fund balance. And so it's just kind of like this silly shell game relative to names. I just soon call it surplus as well. I'm agree I agree with you on that, Regina. Uh, I think that probably uh, maybe this one article should wait for a vote until we have Chris in. Yeah. There is an eight and a half minute uh, video slice on this, and I'll remind you if you guys and everyone at home, you go to HamptonBud.com under Warren Articles, click on Warren Articles, you'll see Warren Articles from the past from 2014. Of course, that's always been there, but you've got uh, the BudCom working articles, which is what we're working on now. And if you, if you go there, you'll see the entire list of the 32 Warren articles that we have got for our consideration. Okay? So you can all take a look at that video snippet off of that page uh, as your homework, if you will, so that you can be better ready for Chris when he comes in. And maybe Chris won't have to spend too much time explaining things.